Welcome to another episode of SevTech. Just a guy here. Let's go back where we left off, more or less. I just gathered up my stone out of the fish thing and uh, put my grindstone in the middle and a slab on the top to get ready for the grindstone because I did find out... Test. Can you guys hear me? Test. Okay. Yeah. I just... My headphones were down too low. But, um... Yeah, I found out that you can't make charcoal dust out of the normal mil grindstone. It has to be the millstone. So I made charcoal, which can turn into charcoal pieces. Um, I also found out that if you have a stack of something in your hand and you put it on the grindstone, it seems like you put the whole stack in and you can't take off what you're working on. Or at least it was broken like the crafting tables or something. The funny thing is you can put this over here and get the pieces straight. So putting it on the grindstone to turn it, gives you no extra stuff and just takes a bunch of time. It's stupid. But the pieces cannot be turned into dust, either in the grindstone or in the inventory. You have to get the millstone, which is what this is. Uh, stone all around it, and then the grindstone in the middle. Oops. We got a millstone now. Um, not sure. What do I do with it? Hand crank. So I'm gonna make a hand crank. Which is a wooden gear, I did not know that. Okay. Which does need the buffalo tubes. Or teeth. So this goes here. I had to put this here, otherwise my horse started to wander in. So I can make a lot of things I don't know what is. Okay. But what we want to do is put these in here. But we need a hand crank, I guess. I was all ready with my whoppers to make the flame grill things and stuff, but oh well. So let's check their little progress thing. That was a disappointment. Um, so I do need the gear first. Oh, and I gotta make a charcoal block still. Um, so I might need some of this back. Did not. I think unfortunately I gotta put. Yeah, I gotta put this back in the press to make it bigger again. Oops, it's getting dark. I didn't even, I had like a 16 or these or whatever and made 64, which I didn't really want. Um, charcoal, yep. Take the horsey off the wood. Oh man. There we go. Fortunately, you can only take it off when it's empty, so if you have an auto feed system, it can be a pain. There we go. Put that in there. And this should give me... Oh, I have one. I just didn't take it out. Okay, so I did finish the pressing your luck thing. And I tried something over here. I don't know if it's going to work. I'll have to see. But I thought, you know, monsters can't parkour like that, so maybe they won't be able to get up here. Just have to keep breaking that block every single time. So let's see what else. That's done. It looks like after I get this last little row of stuff done, I might actually be done with stage zero. Should be nice. Because I really want stairs or ladders or simple things like that. Okay, uh... Let's see, we wanted to do the totemic stuff, I guess. I got a bunch of sugar canes ready, because I remember that was on there. So let's go with the flute first, I guess. That grass, which I have either in my backpack or over here on the cart. Oops. I haven't emptied it or anything. Come on. There we go. Um, the grass, yeah, we'll take one. 
Anything else over here that I really need to take out? I don't think so. Uh, I'll take some dark lines of wood just in case. But I think other than that, I'm. Oh, the wheels I have extra of, I guess. I can't remember why. You know, I made the plow, and that's. I think I was thinking about making another cart because it stores a lot of stuff, but uh, it's kind of annoying. So, flute is diagonally up to left, right? Yeah. Now I just have to worry about it, see if I have leather. I know I had a bunch, but I don't know if I used it all. I really should make more crafting tables. It would have been easier. I mean, I used to have two, but one broke. Sneak while you're playing use left and right. Let's just try it out. I probably shouldn't be doing that because I don't know what it does. Bro, I know it'll summon a wild buffalo to kill me. Try the drum. I can push R. Which is just planks and leather. It's a weird drum, it's only got covering on one side. Put our flute down there. Um. I think it's in one of these chests. Rawhide, ground resin. Oh, there we go. Take one, I guess. I know the drum takes, I'm not sure about anything else, but I don't want to have too much stuff in my inventory right now. And we need wood. Not enough wood. I might have to mix and match. I don't know if you can. I thought I'd have enough olive wood, but I guess not. There we go. Sure that. Okay, we're making some progress. The drum can go here. Oh, actually, let's, let's try that out first. That's weird. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, I can only play like one note. But whatever. Ah, I picked up the flute. Not gonna miss these chests, that's for sure. The flute looks just so much like a stick. And then the rattle. Just bone and stuff, okay. I think it's like this. And then I need some bones. You should be pretty screwed if you didn't happen to have any uh, sugar cane in your area. Okay, make this. Oh yeah, that just makes the jingles. And then the Actual thing is one stick. Okay. Well, you can make this without even using the craft table. But oh well. I'm curious if this will work or do I have to put it. No. Does that have to be a specific one? That's cool. Okay, so we got that out of the way. Shake, rattle. Summon a boss, whatever, Bayako, Bayako, I cannot, I'm doing no justice to that word. For, via the sonar ceremony and defeat him, the choir's powerful bow and unlock range combat early. Ah, uh -huh. something tells me he's going to have to cheese that by hiding in the ground or something, or attacking from underwater like I did before. Um, so I need a totempedia. I need buffalo's teeth to make gears, because no other teeth works, I guess. Totempedia. 
sapling and plant cloth just twine oh yeah almost yeah I got tons of that stuff I'm not gonna use leather cordages that's for sure that stuff's expensive I think it's in here oh, I got fiber I guess the rest is in my backpack I could probably have more than one backpack but that would just create a bunch of crap Oh, I don't have any twine. I have twine. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so there's no way I don't have twine. Every time I got excess fiber, I turn it into twine. Yeah, that cart's in the way. Okay, let's try first just the fiber. So now it looks like a bunch of things worked. So let's try the fiber. One, two, three. This might not work, and the problem I just thought of is I won't be able to get off the table. Um, drop that, I guess. Pick that up. Nope. And... Of course not. Every once in a while this just breaks. It's not just this. I had trouble getting off of a millstone earlier, too. And then it works. For no reason. It doesn't work for no reason, and then it works for a reason. No reason. Can we get our gear? Let's fix our plant fiber before we get out of the way. There we go, we got a ton of that stuff. Surprising how many times I had to make torches with this stuff, I still have a lot of it. Once I got the bone weapons though, it saved me a lot of effort because the flint ones took this fiber to tie it on, and the bone ones don't. Most of the stone ones don't either, to be honest, but. Huh, did it break my rock? I don't remember it breaking. Oh no, I just got put in there. It's gonna break soon though. We got some fiber. A cloth. What's this good for anyway? Plant cloth and wooden gear. A little better with pods. I actually have a few items that are that now, so I could make that. Um, coffee. Something I can't look at. And the totem book. So let's try the better with mods one. I'm gonna make another thing. cloth. Come on, there we go. So um, I need a gear to do that one, so I won't be doing it right now. But this one in a sapling. I have saplings. Lots of saplings, to be honest. There we go. Come on. Took the wrong thing a bunch of times, and who knows what happened in my inventory. Um. Why do I have two? That is weird because it didn't consume both my plant cloths. Well, um, put one. We'll have a box over here. How about the shelf? All my books. Okay. Totem Peter's your guide. You all hear Totemic needs. Totemic basics, Totemic effects, musical instruments, ceremonies, tools, and miscellaneous. I have no idea what I'm doing here, by the way. Never even seen this mod used by anybody ever. Hmm. Stuff can happen. Oops. Just. Okay. Melody. No. Hmm. Oh, there we go. This. So I need 
Does it have a second page? No. Okay, here's what I need. Um. Buffalo dance ceremony. Weird. Um, totems and effects, totem poles, not something I'm going to worry about right now. Musical instruments, flute. Okay, these, this is pretty, um, for any, okay, this is, uh, complex. Ceremonies, let's, let's get it. Basics, basics of ceremonies. Ceremonies are a way to gather over a period of time through the power of melody to release a central burst of energy, both players nearby in the nearby world. The ceremony is a totem base, so I need a totem. And it's also where the effects of ceremony are released from. Ceremonies are powered by the melody that is released from instruments when they are played. There are two main points in a ceremony. The first is being selection, and the second being ceremony effects. Can't click on these, so that's sort of annoying. Um, selecting. In order to select the ceremony you wish to activate, a specific attack must be completed. Any instruments played while sneaking will play in the selector mode. It will not release any melody as they would normally. A combination of two instruments in a selector mode will start a ceremony. Depending on which they are played, for example, using the flute in selector mode twice will activate. Wow, activate the, and then there's nothing. That seems like a bug. But, okay, so. I hope that's all I need to know. War dance. Strength and speed. Okay, yeah, that's pretty cool. Totemus drum, Totemus drum. A bolted game of chess. I have no idea what these things mean. Um, okay, we're, we're gonna do the buffalo dance. Um, the right cows. Oh, I turned cows into buffaloes. I need a wind chime. Drum and the chime. How do I make a chime? Okay, stick, 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 string, flint. Why does it tell me to make a drum, a flute, and a rattle when the one I need for buffaloes isn't even that? This, this is uh, pretty crazy. I think this mod will be interesting, but it's really um, convoluted. Especially with the low tech level I got going here. Stick, stick, stick. String. I don't want to put these down here while I'm still got them. I don't even know if I have that much string. And then what was else? The flint. Right? Put in the middle. And a bone. Bone. So do I got any string? I got fleece. I did not mean to do that. I just picked up something I don't need. This is another one of those weird ones where you can use the work tool or you can use your shears. Unfortunately, my shears are in my backpack and I'm too lazy to switch, so we'll just do that. Okay, put that back. Get the string. Quite a few monsters out there. In case you guys haven't heard it for the last couple minutes, all grinding and making noise at me. Okay, put that down. Put this down. Make some room. Oh, good, I have flint. I mean, I wouldn't be short flint. I have tons of gravel now with the fisher thing going. Okay, so we're gonna have chimes.
So these ones. Huh. Not sure how those work. But we got them. Where's my pick? Okay, they just go on their own. But when I clicked them, they didn't do anything. Okay, we got the chimes. We got the drum. Which I think is what I needed. Now I need a totem pole? Oops. Totem pole base. Oh, all I can tell me is it burns. Okay, so maybe I don't need one of those just yet. Oh, that's my atlas. Not what I wanted. Sort of a drum and a chime. Okay. Hmm. So. I don't make a totem base. Totem make basements, musical instruments, tools. Okay, so that's how you I mean, get staff, I guess. It lets me cancel ceremonies. How about that? Totem X staff. Torch. What does that take? Two sticks? Well, I should have made one of these a while ago if it's any good. Let's, let's try one of those. I mean, it's not exactly what I'm going for, but I'm sort of just rabbit holing around the totem stuff. Um, well, I don't have any torch torches made. Stick. Twine. There we go. Good enough for now. I took out way too many sticks in my cart, or my little mill thing I got going. Hey, let's... Ooh, I broke my rock, and I think I know why. I have to have a lit torch, and of course I can't pick that up. Why not? Make it harder on me. There we go. Easiest way to get a lit torch without accidentally throwing it into the fire. So, let's see. This. Work stump. Stick. Stick, stick. And this totem stuff. A lot of crazy stuff. Nothing really super hard resource wise, I guess, but really does uh, make you get a lot of weird stuff. Now I need a rock, wow. I actually don't think I have a rock. I know I picked up... Oh, there we go. I have a rock. Good thing I picked up random stuff from the creeper explosion. Because I need a crafting rock. I'm curious, does this provide light? I need to... F7? Creeper? Wow. Unfortunately, I completely off-proof this whole thing. Actually, I'll just use this one. There we go. So yeah, that, that's a pretty good torch. Um, set down a second. Oops, I don't want stone. I don't want, I want the torch. There we go. The old mouse click option.
So the Totemic Torch seems pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna have to get a darker place to see if it goes further, but it looks neat. And all it is is two sticks and a normal crappy torch. So we got the Totemic Torch. That's why when we need it, I guess. So that carves bases, which is just a flaked flint and a stick. I'm gonna guess and say I don't have flaked flint. So let's get rid of some of this totem stuff. Oops. There we go. I know it's keeping a lot of stuff. Gunpowder, is that gunpowder? No, it's clay, right? Don't want that. Come on. That's clay. Ink sets. Not anything black in there, so I know it's not in there. Well, let's just get a piece of flint. Get rid of some of this stuff. I was hoping that was flint. Okay, that one produced nothing. Yeah, that piece of flint gave me nothing. I don't want to have a bunch of flint in my inventory. Go down here so it doesn't fall into the fire. Wow, talk about bad luck. Come on. What's wrong? I'm not getting any flaked flint. I don't remember it being this low of a chance. Okay, we'll just get a bunch of these. And now I'm going to get it on my first try, but still, it's crazy. I don't remember it being this hard. There, yeah. Whatever. Place just hates me. What? It's a flaked flint and a stick, right? Oops. I don't want to put my rock in there. That's annoying. Okay, so... Uses... Totemic base out of oak planks? No. Dark oak wood? No. Let's... Knife for all you will need. Sneak right click on the scroll or change carving. Currently carving totemic base. So let's get some wood and see if we can work this out. Um, I don't know if it needs fancy wood or just oak wood. Oh yeah, I started putting some in here. Get rid of this. Just to clear up some space. I accidentally picked up my flute. My full chest of totemic stuff. Okay. Let's see if we can get this carving thing to work. Oops. We don't want to do it right next to the fire. Okay. Well, it it works. That's just one right click. And then sneak right click. Bat, blaze, buffalo. Okay, so let's make a buffalo. Cow, enderman, wow. That is pretty awesome, I gotta admit. Can I pick it up? 
No, I can't do the right click thing. And it gets destroyed. Okay, so you gotta build this where you want it. Okay. Get some more wood. Not sure what I need. Um, let's look at our totempedia just again. See if there's anything information on totems. Oh, I was working on the staff too. I forgot about that. Um, miscellaneous TP. It says it requires an open sky to be used, but I got one buried in the ground, so I guess that's not true. So it can also be built out of some block. I'm guessing wool blocks. Buffalo hide, which would have been easier. Oh, so this is different than the one I got, maybe. Where the mod pack changed the recipe to make it something you could use basically early on. Oh, wait, best miscellaneous torch. I wonder if it's like better than the little crappy torches I got. Um, Totemic Basics. No. Totem poles. Create the knife. Cover a ton of any kind of wood logs. The knife covers out different totem poles, which lead to different effects. Six, so I can get six. Hmm, I'm sure, curious if it's six more blocks and not including the base or including it. So, so they changed this recipe obviously because I don't have access to iron. They don't give you any example effects though it looks like. There we go. Okay. Bat lets you negate fall damage. Blaze gives you fire resistance. Buffalo makes you mine faster, very important. Cow makes you slow but strong, or endurance. Enderman gives you night vision, very, very important. Speed boost. Oh, Ocelot. Yeah, that's something every base should have. Prevents creepers from exploding. Not sure what good luck will do, better drops maybe. Wall climb, wow. Uh, this, this water breathing would be useful. Man, all these are awesome. Okay, so I'm going to try one down here by my teepee. Or maybe not. I'll put it on my front porch. Cause... Actually, um, I went up here. It'll look better. Get rid of this. Ooh, yeah, I didn't. That was actually a. There we go. Two. Three. I'm gonna have to work on this. Okay, so. Buffalo. Cow. Enderman. Horses speed, that's nice, but ocelots definitely we need first. Oops, I did not want ocelot. Base. Oh yeah, you can't. Okay. Got a buffalo and ocelot. And now we need to get up there higher. We're gonna do, um, I'm debating on jump boost just to see something I can tell that worked immediately. 
And if this works, I, that'll solve my problem of not having a door. Actually, I probably should have done this from the front, otherwise my totem pole will be backwards, I think. Oops. Okay, this is... Sneak, Bat, Blaze. Come on. Rabbit. Don't think I have jump boost. Uh, let's test it. So, one, two, get rid of the third. I think I might. How'd he get up here? So he did parkour up that. That's pretty crazy. Okay, the jump boost did not seem to work so well. I am going to see if I risk... I'm also curious if I have to activate this somehow, or is this all it takes? Oh, I do have jump boost, okay. I thought jump boost lets you jump two blocks high, so why can I only jump... It's like one and a half? Whatever. Okay, so... That's pretty awesome that it does work. So now I have jump boost and haste. Um, spider lets me climb walls, which probably overdoes jump boost, to be honest. Um, bats the fall damage. Yeah, I fall all the time. So how many is this? One, two, three, I don't know. What else do I need? Fire? Why? Uh -huh. The only thing that gets me on fire right now is burning zombies, but I have died to it quite a bit. Um, let's see. Oh, what am I doing? I don't need that. I need my book. Strength, water breathing, climb walls, night vision, yeah. Horse, definitely. And probably pig just to see what it does, really. So let's try pig. Or horse, yeah, we definitely want horse. Do I have speed now? Yes. Okay. And one more. I think this is the last one I can do. Um. Pig. Okay. And is there any more that are useful just to see if they work? Oops. Yeah, that's some. Not good. Let's let's try this bat thing out. Oh, I glide sort of like an elytra. Okay, that's pretty awesome. And spider was the last one I was thinking of. I think. Let me double check. Fire resistance. Night vision. Or spider. I wonder if I can just have two totems and have everything. It's a good question. Climb walls like a spider. Let's try that. I'm always getting stuck in cracks and pits. Why not? Spider one's weird. Oh, I don't think that one works. Nope. So let's see, the base is one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, the spider is too high. It's the base and five more. 
but let's try this. Actually, the one, two, yeah, we'll try it right here. I don't know how to look centered wise. I think it's a little off. I should have put this one over one more, but I'm not going to mess with it just yet. Base. We'll do a blaze. Oops. I guess we'll do spider just because. Yep. So we can just put them all. Oh man, I put it the wrong way. Yeah, zombies just leave me alone. I'm building. It's funny that I'm building with dark pine oak wood because it's just what I got. Spider. Squid. Why not? Let's just get it all, guys. Get it all. Get my dirt blocks back. Oh, yeah. Before I do that. Destroy the top one of this just because it's useless. And we'll go down. Wolf. Have a strength rate. Why not? We got the bat. We just need the blaze. The blaze looks cool. I give him that. So the only one we don't have is a cow, but that's the one that slows you down, but increases your endurance. Wow, that just looks funny. Um, I have a speed boost, so I don't know if it'd be worth taking the cow boost. Um, I'll worry about it later. Enderman, night vision. Okay, yeah. I like how the eyes are purple even on the stat totem. So night vision, horse, we got that. Ocelot, pig. Okay. So we got all these guys. This is awesome. I really want to put the totemic torches up here in the end. But I am going to have some fun out here and see what I can do. So I have strength, I have everything. Am I a god amongst men now? No, not really. And the creepers can't explode. Okay, that, that did not work. And I'm on fire even though I'm supposed to be fireproof. I broke his helmet. Oh, okay. I am guessing the radius is not very far. That's something I'm going to have to look into, because, yeah, I thought I was amazing, and I found out I'm not. Okay. Let's um, fill this hole in a little bit. Especially this uh, gaping hole. There we go. I think I might need line of sight. Hmm. Let's see, do I got here? Night vision for six seconds.
So I don't know if it's a really limited range or line of sight or elevation. Like I can't be lower than it. So let's. I got the bat from here. So that's weird. I'm not sure how that all works. It sounded really awesome. I just lost a bunch of the abilities. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out how that works, but it's something I got accomplished. So we basically got the totem stuff all done. Um, I want to come. The bad thing is always gone when I'm trying to glide. There we go. Oh, I probably should have F7 turned off, but oh well. I can get rid of the safety block here. That's, That's definitely a load off my mind there. Do I have it under here? I have it under here, so it must be a distance thing. But I was going for the totemic staff before I got completely sidetracked. Sunflowers. Gonna be a problem. The other two flowers I either have or have seen a million times, but sunflowers... I'm fairly sure I don't have seen any. I'll have to get those off screen, I guess. I do have a poppy, right? There's a dandelion in a poppy, right? Yeah, I'm barely sure I have a dandelion or a poppy somewhere, or dandelion. Do that, or I can get one just by looking around outside a second. Wow. I have a lot of flowers. I've been saving some, but not all. I ground up most of them in the thighs. I do not happen to have a poppy or a dandelion. So I'm gonna have to go get that, but I'm gonna have to clean out my inventory and stuff. But yeah, guys, uh, we got quite a bit of the totemic stuff done, unfortunately. Not all. Um, get rid of some of this stuff. Rice. Seeds. There we go. But we, all we got left, it looks like, is somehow finishing the ceremony part. I thought I'd get the mill done, but I did not realize it took the gear, which takes buffalo teeth. We're going to figure out somehow a way to do a ceremony. That book is not particularly good. I mean, this part, the list of all the items is nice. Um, totem poles. So yeah, it doesn't tell. We have to six high. It doesn't tell you exactly the range. I'm guessing it's like 12 blocks or something. Um, medicine bag. Okay, so the medicine bag lets you take the effect further. Oh, so you, you can select one effect per bag, I guess, to take with you, and it lasts a couple minutes. But it but takes it a takes diamond. diamond. Yeah. yeah. And buffalo hide, which I don't have, and teeth. So yeah, that's yeah, pretty that's cool. cool. Um, the totem pulls cost next to nothing, I guess. You could just put them freaking everywhere. Like if you had a base that's worth having, you'd want the ocelot exploding thing to be everywhere. Like I really should put one over this hole of doom that's been built. I didn't think it'd be such a short range, but whatever. And... 
Other than that, the only thing I can think of is this staff, because I'm having trouble getting anything done otherwise. But yeah, guys, this is going to be the end of this episode. Just a guy, signing off.